Breaking news tonight as the Department of Health reports its first probable case of the Omicron variant in Louisiana. The case involves someone from the greater New Orleans area who recently traveled within the U.S. Acadiana health officials have been anticipating this variant's arrival and say they are prepared. News 10's Britt LaFaso spoke with Oxner health officials about the new Omicron variant. Currently, the WHO has declared this variant a uh, named variant of concern, which means we have to keep a close eye on it. Um, as you know, it was first um, reported in South Africa and then has been reported in multiple countries over the past few days since then. One week ago, the World Health Organization announced the discovery of the new Omicron variant. It's still pretty early in the game to know how transmissible or severe the variant is, although there's some information from South Africa even today that their rates of positivity of this variant have risen, and so it seems to be highly transmissible. Dr. Catherine Baumgart, the medical director of infection control and prevention at Oshner Health, says scientists are rapidly trying to get more data on the variant. She says it's still unclear how severe the Omicron variant cases are. We do know that they are seeing it in their younger population as more of a mild to moderate disease, and their hospitalizations have been in those that have been um, more significantly impacted by age or by comorbidities, but we still don't have that exact data to know for sure how severe it will be ultimately. Clinical research scientist Dr. Sandra Kimberly says hospitalizations in South Africa are increasing, but only about 30% of their population is vaccinated, which leaves 70% of people vulnerable. She says when the Delta variant was increasing hospitalizations in Louisiana, however, only about 70% of people were unvaccinated too, so it's too early to tell what South Africa's high hospital rates mean. So what this looks like remains to be seen over the next week or two, um, but um, again, we'll staff accordingly as we need to. Britt LaFosso reporting this evening. Now, Oxner Health officials say scientists are also doing research to see how well the current COVID-19 vaccines work against the Omicron variant. State health official, our state health officer, Dr. Joseph Cantor, says Louisiana has been expecting this and, quote, the single best action you can do is to get vaccinated and boosted if eligible, end quote.